you guys. Hey, if you didn't know, it's practically summertime. It's time to break out that swimsuit, that nice towel, the sunscreen, your sunglasses, and don't forget the razors, ladies, because you know your legs need it. I didn't mean for that to be awkward, just so you know. I'm cool. So you're probably wondering why I have these ridiculous glasses on. Maybe I'll take them off. Yeah, it's like... It's like summer. Yes, I know. I look really tired, but I didn't get any sleep last night. So if you guys haven't noticed, it's summer. <sighs> I adore the summer. I mean, winter is awesome, but I'm kind of tired of wearing scarves and boots and skinny jeans and long sleeve shirts. It's time for those summer shorts and tank tops, man. So for the past few days at my house, it's been over like 80 degrees and it's warming up over here in sunny California and I'm super excited because I'm so ready for winter to be over but so uh, the other day um, because it was so hot and it was Mother's Day actually uh, my mom and I and our family decided to go to the beach uh, it was really warm and we were like oh let's go to the beach and so we went and so basically we're at this beach right and we're uh, swimming happily in the ocean just swimming happily and we notice far off in the small not very long distance that didn't make any sense that um this guy was kayaking and right next to his kayak there was a pelican going like this literally that's all the pelican was doing and we were like oh he's kind of close to a pelican maybe that isn't very safe he could get his head bitten off uh, so we kind of didn't really pay attention so then after swimming for happily another few minutes we noticed that the pelican had drifted away and was still going like this just like that we were like okay and people it was getting close to shore like weirdly close to shore like you would have seen it fly away by now so the pelican kept going closer to shore and we were like uh what are we doing so uh it just keeps kind of it is floating it doesn't seem like it cares about anyone around it people are swimming next to it and it's just going like i'm in my own thing i don't care what you guys think but i'm just in my groove just it was so weird. Basically, he floats up to shore and is on the shore. He doesn't look like he can walk very well. He's still going. People start coming up, right? People start like, oh, should we call someone? Like, who do you call? 911 for a pelican that's just kind of sick in the noggin? And I look over and on the water there's this guy paddling on this long paddle boat standing up. You know how you see people just uh, standing on their surfboards and they'll just along and they think they look so cool because they look like this pinnacle statue on the sunset. This guy was like super ripped so he just thought he was something else and we were just kind of laughing because he really looked stupid. He's just paddling along like whatever. He just yells and he goes look oh my gosh is that a pelican? Oh my word that's a pelican dude he's gonna look at, he's gonna like whoa what's he doing? Totally acting like an idiot, like we had all been sitting there for the past half an hour noticing this pelican and he just notices it like, look, it's a pelican, I wonder what he's doing here. He was dumb. Anyway, so he comes over and he's like, oh, we need to do some like CPR. And everyone's like touching the poor pelican, like, because we think there's something in his throat. So everyone's like touching this poor pelican who's just trying to get the thing out of his throat by going like this. And everyone's like, here, you got something in there? I was like, guys, don't touch the pelican, he's probably gonna... So basically, uh, then the next thing that happens is uh, this girl comes over next to this buff guy. And she's like, first of all, you need to shut up. And second of all, that pelican needs CPR really bad. And we're like, you can't do CPR on pelican. This, then this blonde lady comes marching over from like the other side of the shore. Comes marching over. She's this blonde lady. She looked like she was about drunk like she'd been smoking she was in this dress that you could see kind of something something underwear it was not pretty she comes over and she goes oh let me help the pretty little pelican this is what she does she takes the pelican's beak pries it open like this and reaches her long nailed hands down the pelican's throat and goes let me see if I can get it! Let me see if I can get it! Digging her nails on this poor pelican's throat. She digs and we're like, Ah! What are you doing? That's an animal! You could go to jail for that! She's just doing that. She comes out. She goes, I didn't find anything. The pelican goes... And falls down. And we're like, Oh my gosh. She just killed the pelican. Then the pelican 
finally gets up, we're like totally relieved and totally shocked because it's like, you don't just put your hand down a pelican's throat, lady, get a life. Like, honestly, I mean, <laughs> that doesn't happen every day. And so we're like freaking out. Uh, and basically the pelican just keeps going back to his little thing. And so basically my dad calls um, animal control, they say they're gonna come, they don't end up showing up. The pelican actually, I think he got it out because he f was having trouble flying but then he flew out into the ocean and was floating around and wasn't doing his little thing anymore so it seemed like it was all fine. But that, it really ticked me off. You don't just see that happening. I mean I was laughing because it was kind of funny because it just doesn't happen every day. <laughs> But she stuck her hand down that poor pelican's throat. It's like a horrible drunk version of CPR. It was ridiculous and that was definitely the highlight of my day. So um, yeah that was an interesting story. Uh, so yeah if you liked that video click subscribe and uh, if you wanted to watch my last video uh, click the screen that will come up soon. Anyways, I hope you guys liked that video and uh, put in the comment section some videos you want me to talk about. I've gotten a lot of requests about more braces issues. I've had a lot of people talk to me about braces. Thank you guys for asking me. Um, I don't know if I want to do a close-up of my mouth. It's kind of kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'll see what I can do um, about explaining some things with braces. I'm not a dentist, but I don't know, maybe I can help you guys with some of that. Uh, so yeah, tell me in the comments what you want to see me do, and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!